What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Jangs Away video. Now, I just wanted to make a quick little video just to touch on a few things that are in 2K20, my team mode. Just a few things like the heat check cards and the evolve cards and the starter pack and just stuff like that. Because uh, I've seen a lot of people talking about what card they're going to choose for their starter pack and and uh, things like that. Just, just random stuff like that. So um, I thought, let's jump in. Let's have a bit of a look and see what we like. Um, first thing I want to talk about is just the heat check cards. So uh, if we have a look here, the Jason Tatum card that you can see on the screen just above me here is uh, an 83 overall uh, heat check card. I guess that's the base heat check card. Now, from my understanding, that card basically upgrades game to game, not just like a, you know, three or four days, but game to game, depending on how he went the previous game. So say he has a 40 point game and he's, he's already got this 83 rated card here, this heat check card, it'll go up to the 85. So that's the first tier of, uh, of, of heat check. So that's great. Okay. Next game, he has another 40 point game. So back to back 40 point games, he's on a roll. It'll go up to that 87. So it looks a little bit more fiery, a little bit more crazy. And, uh, you know, that's the 87. Then he has a game where he has five points. Uh, it'll drop back to the 85. I think that's how they're going to work it and so on and so forth. Great game, go up. Bad game, go down. Neutral game, stay where it is. But, I mean, I don't know. That could change. Uh, I know heat checks weren't really taking advantage of the best that they could have been last season. But, I mean, we'll NBA 2K19. But that's sort of how I envision this sort of thing happening. So... There could be some good value within these heat check cards, you know, someone like Jason Tatum, if you get an 83 heat check card with Jason Tatum early on in the game, and uh, he, he decides that he's going to have a breakout season, you could be rocking with a 90 rated Jason Tatum for the majority of the uh, 2k cycle, well, until until people start getting the, all the diamonds and the pink diamonds and so on and so forth, but yeah, heat checks, there could be some sneaky little, some sneaky little good cards in there, so we'll uh, keep an eye on that, I'm not holding my breath, but we'll keep an eye on that. Alright, we'll move over let's look at the evolve cards so uh i just wanted to touch on how these really work because i know there's a few people a few of my subscribers that don't really understand how it's all going to work um if we have a quick look at these cards the starter packs all of these cards are going to be evolve cards so this is the card that you'll start with probably be your best card uh, that you pull out of your starter pack so um, obviously if you choose the Derrick Rose, you'll get maybe 20 gold cards or, or 19 gold cards and one Derrick Rose card. I think it starts at an Emerald. So uh, for argument's sake, you choose Derrick Rose. Uh, you automatically get him as an Evolve card. Now he has two stars. I'll show you what the stars mean on the next page, but uh, he'll have two stars and you can do challenges to upgrade him. So once he's upgraded, he'll it, like, you know, you do the challenges that you need for the first upgrade. He'll go from an Emerald up to a sapphire and so now you've got a sapphire derrick rose there'll be a new set of challenges that you can do to upgrade from the sapphire up to the ruby and i'm pretty sure all these cards only go from sapphire i meant from our emerald to ruby uh, i think they've just got two levels that they can go but um yeah that sort of thing so that's sort of how that works but the the real thing i want to talk about with the starter packs is which one i'm going to go with first because uh, we know you get a Dwayne Wade card, that is a, an Evolve card that will go from, I think it's an Emerald, could be a Sapphire, but uh, it'll go from basically where it starts up to a Pink Diamond. So really, really worth the grind of getting that that uh, that Dwayne Wade and trying to Evolve him, uh, which kind of says, don't pick the Tracy McGrady. You know, if Tracy McGrady is your shooting guard from the starter packs, you don't want to be running Tracy McGrady and Dwayne Wade. Okay, because then they're going to have to share minutes and you can't, won't be able to evolve both of them equally. So, and, and with position lock this year, you can't run, you know, Dwayne Wade at power forward or Tracy McGrady at point guard or whatever. So, Tracy McGrady, X him out of there. He, we, we're not picking him. Now, if we go Derek Rose, that's a, that's a good choice. Derek Rose at point guard, that's a good choice. But I sort of look at it and I go, it's young Derek Rose. Even upgraded, is he really going to be able to shoot? He'll probably be able to attack the rim, but that's probably about it. Attack the rim and just be athletic, which is good if that's what you want. That, that's good right next to Dwayne Wade, but, you know, is that is that what you really want? Me personally, uh, that's not what I would want. So we sort of move up the rank a little bit. We go Vince Carter, small forward. Is he somebody that I'm going to want right off the bat? 
Uh, historically, small forwards are pretty abundant in NBA 2K games. Uh, you think about last year, I mean, you just look at the base cards. You got someone like Kevin Durant, Giannis Tedekumpo, LeBron James, uh, you know, all these cards that you could potentially have as your small forward that will be a amethyst if you if you decide to pick them up. Uh, or maybe you pull packs, but I mean, don't pull packs if, if, you, if you can't. But um, for me, I then jumped over and I went, well, maybe Hakeem. And I went, well, you know, with everything else that's going on in the mode, you know, we get an Anthony Davis um, that right off the bat, a Sapphire. So do we really want to try and upgrade Hakeem over Anthony Davis when Anthony Davis will probably end up having an Amethyst anyway? Uh, you know, so I sort of look at that and I sort of come down to the conclusion that Dirk Nowitzki is probably the choice for me. Uh, reason being, he's a big, he can probably still shoot. He's got good post moves. I mean, he's a seven foot power forward. So he's probably going to have good post moves. He might be a little bit of liability on defense, but I mean, his height might make up for that. But yeah, so Dirk Nowitzki is probably the, the play that I'm going to choose. And just for me personally, I'm going to probably be playing in the post a lot this year. So Dirk will be a uh, will be a welcome addition to the team. So Dirk Nowitzki will be the card that I'll choose and try to evolve. Now, let's move back over here uh, to the Isaiah Thomas card that we have on the screen above us right now. As you can see, next to the Isaiah Thomas, it's kind of hard to see on the Amethyst, but if you look on the Galaxy Opal card, you can see three gold stars. Now, what that means, they are the levels that Isaiah Thomas can rise from an Amethyst. So you, you upgrade the Amethyst once, it becomes a diamond. As you can see, there's a gold star and two black stars above them. Uh, that's the diamond card, so 94. Then you upgrade him again, that'll go from that'll go from the diamond up to the pink diamond. Okay, then you upgrade him one more time and you get to the Galaxy Opal. So that's kind of how that's all gonna work. Now for argument's sake, the challenges to get the Isaiah Thomas from uh, Amethyst all the way to Diamond, well not all the way to Diamond, but just to the next tier of Diamond might be score 500 points um, overall, or maybe score 200 points overall, get 25 assists and get uh, 10 threes, okay, and that'll get you that level. And you might be able to do that over a course of, you know, three or four games or whatever. They may have some challenges where it's like score 35 points in one game. So that might be something that you have to do. Maybe you've got to drop 40 to go from Pink Diamond to the Galaxy Opal or something like that. Each card will have their own set of challenges that you've got to meet. But yeah, I just thought I'd touch on that a little bit of, uh, of how that's going to work because I know I've had a few questions, a few uh, DMs from people that didn't understand it properly. So I thought let's make a video uh, uh, sort of explaining that a little bit. But yeah, that's all I really want to touch on today. Um, thank you guys for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next one. I'm probably just going to do it when 2K20 drops, which will be like Friday, like a week from today. So like seven days. So or Thursday night, midnight, we should get it. But yeah, that's uh, that's that's pretty much it for today, guys. And um, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.